so this, like I said, you should probably do it uh, for each one based off the uh, probability, uh, then write up uh, how events a, B, and C are related, um, referencing graphs as you go along. I would expect this to be a solid one to two paragraphs with five or so sentences each. Do not put filler in, I would rather have shorter paragraphs. If you want a higher grade for me, put keywords in bold, such as, we have this up here. You can bold them. Because when I'm going through and I'm looking for basic things like the probability of the three events that you have done, <clears throat> if you put them in bold, it makes my life a lot easier and I'm not likely to miss them. So that is part A, or the first part rather. The second part um, looks at those two way tables. So <clears throat> at that point, what I would like you to see, like to see, is to go into an Excel and do your two-way table here. And have your totals and all that here. And be able to find your probability of events. <laughs> It'd be really nice if you included this here, including the probability, and embed it in your Word document. Um, and then you go through and answer those four questions again, uh, based off your percentages. So remember, you're going to have percentages. So 0. 0.30 or 0.6 point. Three, something like that. <clears throat> so your percentages will help you calculate based off of your numbers, how many people would have digestive diabetes. And like I said, same thing about a paragraph or so. Um, and include uh, tables, tables are nice, or even if it's just embedded Excel, I'm okay with that. Um, and make sure when you do that, you do the bottom part. That should be kind of what the whole point is. <clears throat> so ideally what you should be doing, looking at this is if I am writing it, let's say that, there is overall a higher risk for these patient or for the patient. Then you say probability of that A, prob B and prob C, you list them out and then <coughs> does all three probabilities are over 75% we see that the chances of diabetes based on our data is higher than normal. So you're, and you're saying that there's a risk, you're giving evidence as a risk, and then because of your evidence, there's a risk. That's kind of what I wanna see for your flow for how you answer questions. And then the third part, we're going to do hypothesis testing, which we're going to cover shortly. Um, you want to make sure on this one that you write out everything in both words and, um, sorry, my dog is doing weird things. I'm going to have to, come on, Trixie, 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 come on. No. Come on. 
make sure you write it up both mathematically and in words what you're doing um, and that you're answering each of these points when you do it. Um, that's kind of what I would like to see. Um, format, uh, it doesn't have to be APA. It just says in here is not required, but uh, whenever you use something, make sure you cite it. I don't care if it's in, in, on the internet or not. So let's make sure you cite it. Uh, does that kind of answer some of the questions? And if so, the project is due one second. Uh, project is due. On November 21st, so it is due the week before Thanksgiving. <clears throat> so I would probably, you can do right now the first two sections uh, as is. Oh, geez. They give you topic six due on the Sunday after Thanksgiving. That's not very nice. Yes, follow the detailed checklists. Um, either one, if you follow the detail checklist or what I just showed, either one I will be happy with. Um, I hate to say it, being very, very analytical, very straight in line, right down the list, and I will give you pretty much 100 points or 100 percent. Okay, any other questions? If not, we will go ahead and get into, as soon as my browser lets me, uh, and do some homework. Uh, come on, why is my computer doing weird things? Okay, work this time. Mm. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to open. It's not liking to open. <clears throat> Let me see. There we are. Um, question four. Okay, I will get that. Um, as soon as they let me into the app, I will gladly do it. Sorry, Halo is not liking me right at the moment.
Sorry, they're, it, I'm trying to get into it and it's doing weird things. Sorry, it's for some reason I'm trying to get into it and I'll even show you because this is really annoying me. So it's giving me this error. So right now I can't even get into do to look at the homework. So every tab. Of course, is it is it glitching for everyone? Do you have the question up? And if so, I'll answer it. If not, I can't really do much because it's literally it's just going in and it's keeping on. Um, getting that thing. OK, what, uh, we'll go ahead and what's the question? Do this, event sharing, all participants. You can go ahead and share if you want. Oh. So an alpha value, when you have a confidence, let me do a snip real quick so I have it saved. Okay, I actually did this right over, I did this when I was, at, we were talking about this, let me steal this screen share real quick. Uh, whenever I was, yes. So, I was doing this when I was um, with this, uh, sorry, with my uh, calculus stats people. <clears throat> so you could figure out alpha divided by two by using the following formula. This uh, one plus your value divided by two. So if I were to do the alpha, the Alpha divided by two. So if I had that, was it point? Where'd it go? 85. So if I have 85% confidence, and also if I have 0.85, what I could do is take one plus my value, 0.85, and then divide that by two, which would give you a 0.925. So what you're doing, uh, new share, new share by board. So you have the normal distribution like this. So this would normally be, let's say 85% right here. I'm just saying it is because like to get, that is your alpha or sorry, <clears throat> one minus, 85, 0 0.85 is 0 0.15, and that is your alpha. <clears throat> what you're technically doing, and this is a long, annoying math, so I just do it the cheap way, is I take that 15% and divide it by two to get 0 0.075. Uh, Essentially what we're doing is doing it here, and we're doing it over here. So what I'm supposed to do at that point is 
from 100, I'm going to subtract that 0 0.075 to give me <coughs> 0 0.925. And then at the bottom end, I do 0 plus 0 0.075 to give me 0 0.075. So these would be at 92.5 and 7.5% both. But the critical value that you're looking for is going to be at alpha divided by two. To actually find that, which is a different question, uh, critical Z. So for that, you use norm.s.inv, and then you click on that probability, close parentheses, and it will give you the critical Z value for the confidence interval that you have right there. So the function, once you get your alpha divided by two, so this is actually your confidence interval. That's your alpha divided by two. And this is the only thing you need to change. And you use norm.s.inv in order to get your critical Z value for your question. Does that make sense? And since we can't do those, what I'm going to do is maybe run through. <clears throat> so in general, how do I get Z alpha divided by two? So what I do, and I kind of did it on the thing is, if you take your confidence interval, and you add one to it, and you divide it by two, that gives you the Z value for the right side, which is 0.925. When you have your 0.925 for the right side, which is all you really need to answer the question, you can use that in your critical Z value. So looking at this real quick, because we're kind of doing these. Uh, So we are going to do uh, something pseudo similar to what they have for your, um, your project. So if we have uh, an X value and we have a mean and we have a standard deviation. So this one, everyone comes in uh, do, 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 do. So we have that X, which is 140 milligrams uh, per liter, or sorry, deciliter of sugar. Um, so that is what we're going to test on to see if you have it or not. So I'm going to do ran between zero and nine, <clears throat> I pull out a magical one. So if I have, let's, let's use different numbers because I'm gonna use different numbers. If I have 161 with a two milligrams per deciliter standard deviation. Uh, so I need to find the probability of just gestational. So for this, we have to find the z-score. So the z-score, the formula for the z-score is uh, x minus mean divided by standard deviation. So on this one, I would take equals, open parentheses, my x minus my mean 
Sorry. I do not want to do that. So I want to do mean minus X divided by standard deviation. I had that backwards. And the reason I did that, and the reason I'm just kind of looking at it weird is I know <coughs> that the value for having the disease is at 160. And the, the, the value that I'm testing is 161. So it's going to be a greater chance of getting digest, digestive diabetes than what the standard is. <clears throat> so whether you do it one way or the other, realize the question you're answering is even if you get the stuff backwards, like you, you do X and you interchange X and mean, mean and X, as long as you think logically, this is what standard is, which means I probably have those backwards. So it is X minus mean. I just had the wrong x and the wrong mean. So this is actually the mean. This is the x, but whatever. As long as you can logically think through it, you should be able to answer it. And then once you have this, you can use that norm.s.inv. Oh, sorry. Sorry, norm.s.dis. based off your z-score and false to get, sorry, not false, it should be true, <clears throat> to get the probability that someone has diabetes. And at that point, once you have this, all you have to do is you change your x value to 162 there, or one, c one, and then three, and then you could change it based off whatever you need it to be. 165, five, and get your new probabilities just based off of when you have this changing these values. And no, I'm not going to upload this. So if you want it, you need to have these copied down. So the z-score is your mean x minus your mean divided by your standard deviation which gives you your Z. And then to find the probability based off of that, you use norm.s.dist. So that should get you through the first third of the project. <clears throat> so if you can get that done, you should be able to have a good shot and then work on this towards once they fix Halo. Uh, between this and your homework towards the end of the uh, towards the project on Tuesday. Uh, is there anything else? Like I said, I'm going to do this today and let you guys work on it. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to do the second half, the second section, which is the um, the two way table, and any questions you have on homework. And then on the Thursday. I'll start talking about the, the hypothesis testing and all that nonsense. Are there any questions as I'm trying to see if they have this fixed yet or not? Nope, still not working. Well, 